Hello Floss Tube Stitchers. Today is going to be a fabric unboxing. I think that's all I'm going to talk about. It's not an actual unboxing because you don't need to hear the box being ripped open and you don't need the crackle of plastic bags and that sort of thing. So I already did the actual unboxing um, and then I took the time to match up the fabric to floss colors that would better represent it to you in case the color's not coming across perfectly on screen. So I have three companies today. Two of them came as a result of Needlework Expo, the virtual online show that was last weekend. Yes, I got fabric already from the show. I'll explain more about that later. But the first one I'm gonna start with is Picture This Plus. And this is the order that I placed last August. Yes, people have been waiting quite a while for their fabric. This isn't everything. Some fabric has already been set aside for people that wanted the whole piece, but I did want to show you what was available now. Um, most of these are half yards. There's a few. I hope I remember. I think I can tell because of how thick they are. A couple of them are full yards just because they're popular colors, but I always like to get a variety of colors and a variety of styles and counts. So it's hard for me to get all full yards because I feel like that I'm only getting half as many choices for everybody. So most of them are half yards. We do custom cut, or you could buy the whole piece from me, which some people do when I show them online, um, or you can get it cut in half um, to a quarter yard, which is I think is a really good size to have in your stash. So, um, yeah, Picture This Plus, they, um, I've heard from Maryland Direct and I've heard through other shop owners that um, they're still like dying maybe 100 yards of fabric a day and oftentimes they're waiting for um, base fabric to come from Europe and anyway, they're doing the best they can. Um, some people don't remember what this fabric was for. If I didn't know at the beginning and didn't write it down, um, they'll have to do some research into their uh, stitch bags and see what's missing fabric. But anyway, I put them in alphabetical order and I hope I remember to tell you the count, but you might be able to read the tag. So the first one is Ariel in 14 count Ada and I matched it up to 33 I can't read backwards. 3325. Okay, it's a really pretty um, blue for spring and summer. Then I have Ale in 28 count Lugana, and I have it matched up to 611 and 612. These are the Sullivans, but they're the same color as DMC. They have the DMC number recommendation on the label so that if you start collecting these as well, you don't need a separate storage system. You can just put them with your DMC. So that's a really nice neutral. And then this is kind of a, this is a crazy neutral, if you will. This is called Ancient. And I matched up the base to um, gold Weeks Dye Works, but you can see there's other colors in there. There's kind of like a greenish, greenish grayish color running through it. And sometimes there's even like a, maybe a reddish. Here's another version of a busier part of the fabric. But I thought the base color was the most important thing for you to see there. All right, then this is Arctic in 28 Cashel. And I already forgot what I looked up there, but you can see. And this is also a really nice neutral that maybe has a little bit of a um, pale, sagey green running through it. Okay, that number was 37.53. All right, Arctic. And then this is 28 Cashel in Cauldron. I really could not find a single DMC that represented it. It's kind of a purpley gray, but I thought Plymouth Rock from Classic Colorworks looked good as the background color. 
And then you can see there's like a rusty orange going through. So of course this is really great for Halloween, but it's also good for uh, mermaids. I've seen a mermaid done on it. All right, this is Dapple in 36 count Edinburgh and 168 and 169 represent several shades. Maybe it even needs a shade in the middle where there is no such color, I guess. But this is, this is one of my favorite colors now. It is so versatile. It's such a nice neutral gray. It doesn't have a lot of yellow to it. It doesn't have a whole lot of blue to it. So that's a really good neutral. This is another Cashel in Eek. And I have 754 and 758 there to represent the background. And then there's that um, grayish color running through it. So of course this makes it great for Halloween. Then we have Fog and this is 28 count Cashel. And I have 822 laid across it. So you can see just a really nice neutral um, a little more interesting than a plain off-white. There you can kind of see some of the variation. This is Gingerbread, 32 count Lugana, 3772. Kind of represents the family of colors in this. So that's a really nice fall color. This is a full yard of 32 count Belfast and I have, let's see, it's called Heartland and I have Sandcastle Weeks Dye Works on it. This is an opalescent fabric. They call their line Crystal when they dye over the opalescent. This is 16 count Ada. Uh, the color is Crystal Helix and I have 762 on top of it. I think you can see some of the sparkle. This is murky in 32 count Belfast. And I have, what do I have here? 612 and 3045 that represent the background of it. And then there's that charcoal gray running through it that makes it great for Halloween colors. And I think that's, yep, that's a full yard because that's a popular color. When I ordered in August, of course, I had no idea when it was going to come because my April order didn't come until September. So I had a feeling that it would not, they would not be caught up and I would not get it by Halloween. But I threw some Halloween colors in there anyway, just because people stitch holidays all year, right? This is 14 count Ada in pickled and I have guacamole from Weeks Dye Works on top of it. This is, I think this might be my favorite green. This is sand in 14 count Ada and I have 613 on top of it. This is another full yard of 16 count Crystal Valor and I have 523 and 524. And I ordered a whole yard of this because there are a few Christmas sales, uh, a couple of them by Tiny Modernist, um, or even Easter, that look really good on Valor. And every time I get the linen in, people ask if I have it in Ada as well. So I made sure I put a whole yard on there. And then the last one is Wren, 16 count Ada, and I have 37.82 to kind of represent the, the majority of the color there. So that is it for the picture this plus. And then I wanted to just take a moment to demonstrate my little linen tester counter. My original was from like a hundred years ago. The company was Electro Optics Inc. And this one is apparently no longer available, but it's a little one inch measure at the bottom with a five time magnifier on top. It's now Carson. I don't know if Carson bought them out or if, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, they're, they're coming now 
um, packaged by Carson. And I got some more in the other day and I thought I would just show you this. They're $9. I use it every day. I use it every day, either for my own personal use or shop use. Um, sometimes we like to show people how much the fabric has shrunk when it's dyed. And so we'll take a 32 count, actually measure it, it going in both directions so we can tell the customer. They will often change counts because of that. They may be able to work on 32 count regular fabric, but when it gets to the really shrunken hand dyed, maybe they feel like they can't handle it, so they move down to 28. So anyway, this is really helpful. People have asked about it. I got more in, so I thought I'd show that off. And then I will move on to the next company. Okay, I'm gonna get this fabric out of my way move the next batch in, do a little editing here. Okay, next we have Mystic Fabrics, and this is Misty, I don't know her last name, but she's from Rushville, Indiana, and 2021 is her first year of selling wholesale to shop. So you may already know about her, but she's new to us ordering um, wholesale for our shops. And to get ready for the Needlework Expo, she dyed over 400 yards of fabric in one month. And one of the smartest things I think a few of the fabric companies did was have a special section in their wholesale link for market that said ready to ship. And I just want fabric. I, especially if it was a new company or new colors, I didn't really care if it was linen or even weave or Ada. I didn't care the count. I just wanted to get some fabric in. So um, for a few companies, I went directly to the ready to ship and went, what is it available in? And do I need that color? Do I not have that color anywhere from any other company? Would that be a good one to add to my line? Or do I just not have a lot of that count fabric? Let's grab that. So I thought it was really smart and I was so glad that I was able to grab some fabric during market. Um, that's always the toughest thing at a regular in-person trade show, um, I sometimes travel with somebody and I, I'm sometimes by myself and I don't really have time to wait in line. So I can't, I can't wait in line for half an hour waiting to buy fabric. I need to move on. So I don't always get what I want because I'm shopping elsewhere. So anyway, this, it was really fun to grab some fabric. Alrighty, um, she had 22 colors that were ready to go in, in various counts. And she sells only in full yards, so I didn't get as much. Well, actually, I didn't get as much because I could only grab what I could grab that was available. And I think by the time I hit uh, send or um, end or whatever it was on my shopping cart, a few of the colors had already been sold to somebody else. You know how that goes in a shopping cart. So anyway, but I'm really pleased with the colors I got, and I think they're really fun. So the first one is Big Sky. And I have this in 16 ADA, and 519 is the DMC number. So that's a really good look at it from this distance. All right, the next one is Diversity, and this is in 32 Count Lugana, and I have 452. This is that, you know, weird kind of lavenderish gray that's really hard to match up but I think 452 does a good job all right then I guess I was thinking spring and we were low on greens so I have 989 on this one this is called lima bean and this is 28 count cashel sometimes farther away gives a Better look at the color. Okay. Then there's another blue, but it was different enough. And I got it in a different count. So this is, yeah, because the first one was 16. So this is 14. I have 809 DMC on top of it. And the color is Reflection. So it has a little more of a, like a, what do they call it? A cornflower blue or Dutch blue, something like that. All right, and then this is Spring Breeze. You would expect it to be blue, right? So I'm not quite sure I understand the color. 
um, if you were just going by the name and not seeing it, you might expect it to be a, a form of blue. Um, I have DMC 155 on top of it. And this is 28 count Cashel. Ta-da! It's lavender. And there's really, there's not a whole lot of, you know, maybe some of that could be considered blue, but honestly, most of it's kind of lavender. Maybe it's just how it turned out on linen. You know, maybe it's more blue on um, another fabric. All right, and then this is called Winter Solstice. And again, I, if I just saw the name, I think I would expect it to be like a gray blue, but I'm not a fabric dyer, so I'm not complaining. Just, uh, it's good to keep track of these things so I know what to order next time with what people are looking for. This is a 28 Lugana, and I chose classic color works in um, vintage violet as kind of a good, a good color for that. All right. Oh, that's all for Mystic Fabrics. And then I got um, Fiber on a Whim. I've had their fabrics before, but we had talked last year about them doing a coffee line. I had inquired about it and they said they had already thought about it. And so last fall they were working on a coffee line. And so that was introduced um, maybe a few months ago, um, but they didn't get it onto their website maybe until 2021. I'm not sure. I don't do a whole lot of ordering of anything in December just because of inventory and, and that sort of thing. So, um, and lack of in-store traffic. So um, maybe it was out before then, but um, I was just um, looking at all the colors before market and was happy to snag some of these coffee dyes. So they, um, they're from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, the mother is Jan and the daughter is Kristen. And the even weaves and the higher count linens are not available retail, but other things are on their website. So they dye on burlap, cheesecloth, cotton fabric, organdy, osnaberg, and velveteen. They also dye cotton embroidery floss, pearl cotton, rayon seam binding, and twill tape. So they do a lot of things for mixed media, quilting, um, other types of craft projects and so the fabric was a newer thing in the last maybe two years for them they call their fabric line needlework tints which I think is cute and then I wanted to uh, remind you of two things their Facebook page fiber on a whim um, has these posts that they call adventures in dyeing and it's really fun maybe it's frustrating for them but it's really fun to see how the color turns out differently on different types of fabric, but also how it turns out differently on just different counts of linen. So you would think maybe linen would all take the dye the same, but it doesn't because linen is um, a natural product and it's dependent on the acidity of the soil and the amount of rain and sunshine that the growing area had and so um, it may be frustrating, but I think you'll get a kick out of looking at their um, posts, Adventures in Dying, and it might give you a, maybe a clue as to how to order. If you like things to come out a little bit lighter, then it kind of gives you a hint at what fabric will uh, make it lighter. And then um, they have these videos called Color Happens, and I looked for them on YouTube, but I didn't see them. I think you can only see them through their Facebook page. But anyway, they have a whole bunch of videos. And if you're interested in mixed media or do quilting or crazy quilting, um, or are interested in some of the trims that you can uh, use on your needlework smalls, then check their, um, check their, do they have an Etsy shop? Website, check their website out for that. Alrighty, so these are the coffee colors. And I was able to snag Afogado in 36 count Edinburgh, and I put 372 on top of it. All right, and then I'm going back and forth between the ones that are um, larger pieces and ones that are smaller pieces. This is Cafe Olay, also 36 count. This is just a fat quarter, I think. 
and I put 841. This is so pretty. This is a really nice neutral. All right, then there's cappuccino, and I have it in Belfast and Cashel. I'll just show you, well, let's see. I'll show you the bigger piece. This is, I put 842 on top of it. Did I say this is cappuccino? So this is a little bit lighter than Cafe au lait, a little bit lighter. Yes, and maybe it doesn't have quite as much green running through it. Okay, next alphabetically is cream and sugar. And I have this in 36 Edinburgh in a fat quarter and I just put ecru on top of it. It's of course more interesting than just a solid color, but that's a good baseline for you. And did I mention these were also like in a ready to ship um, area, so that's why sometimes I only got fat quarters. All right, then dunes, I have this in two counts and I have different colors for them because they did come out differently. The first one is 16 count Ada and I put 832 on top of it. And then the 40 count Newcastle, I put 612. Okay. Then I have latte and I also have 372 for this one. So I'm gonna show you the first one was Afogado and I had 372 for that. I'll just show you the difference. So latte is a little bit lighter, but I still felt, felt like the same DMC kind of represented both colors. All right, then I have milk and honey in two, uh, two different counts. So I have it in 36 Edinburgh, and this is 40 count Newcastle, and I have 613. All right, and then the last one is sand. I, had, I have it in two counts, so I have two colors of floss. The first is 20 count Ada, this is 30. 13 and then 371 is a little bit darker and it looked a little better with the 36 Edinburgh this is a little more green this is a little more golden maybe so I hope you enjoyed my little fabric unboxing today and I'll be back next week with charts and embellishments that came in from market you know I started getting shipments on Wednesday. The market didn't end until Monday afternoon, but that's the beauty of the designers being at home instead of being away at a trade show. They were able to get their orders out a lot faster and know how much more they had to print. So it was really exciting to see the orders start coming in on Wednesday. Um, but I think I'll wait for the charts till next week. So, okay, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.